Hello everybody and welcome to day two of our Vegas trip and it's very exciting we're going to have a lot of fun today. We're heading over to Area 15 or Omega Mart or Meow Wolf today so that'll be really fun. But first we need to go get some food so we'll go walk the strip for a second and go grab some food so let's go. Let's go. Let's go see some cool stuff. It's kind of cool they're actually filming something like all over there. Can't get much of a view of it but they're all on the bridge and they're filming something, some type of movie. Everything's always happening in Vegas. Also, the Walgreens be pop this morning. They be ringing bells, be celebrating, to have loudspeakers. It's super funny. So, what a great way to start off the day. I will say this is probably like one of my all-time favorites. It's just the artwork up here is so pretty. Very interesting. Most of Vegas does not open up until I would say about 12, because right now it is almost 11 and nothing's open yet. Just kind of interesting. Guys, they got Houdini's magic shop. If anyone knows, I'm very familiar with Houdini because I run a escape room that's all based off of it. It's called Houdini. So I'm very excited to see it. I know way too much though. I'm like really excited to go check it out. Let's go check it out. All right, we found a Zoltar machine. Let, let's see what we can get. We got one dollar here. I think I have it backwards. Come on. No, do it. Your fortune is mine for the There we go. And yours for the All right, Zoltar. What we got? I am Zoltar at your service. Listen closely to my instructions now. Get your lucky numbers. Hard work pays off over time. But laziness, it pays off right now. Oh. Heed my advice, young one. Relax and enjoy yourself today. You deserve it. Thank and you, Zoltar. And more timeless truths from Zoltar, the wise gypsy. Thank you. Let's see what what, what we get. Ooh, we got a lot in that one. That's cool. And you may get a little Houdini souvenir, so that's super fun. I, I like that. So we're passing by the ice bar. As you can see, they have jackets. It's a place where you just go, it's a whole bar made out of ice. The gla glasses you drink out of are ice. Really cool idea. That's quite a big Ferris wheel. It's huge, actually. So right now, we're trying to find our restaurant, and it's right here. So we'll go check it out. All right, so here's our food at Favorite Bistro. I got the hangover, which is an egg on top of a burger. It looks really good. And then there's some bacon in there. And then Bryce got a French dip. And his looks super good. And then there's the dip. Those fries look really good. I'm really excited for them. So let's try them. That's a good fry. Ooh, the salt. They got the right salt for it. Well, we devoured our food. These fries are so good. They're like covered in really good salt and whatnot. Um, and then Bryce devoured his. So, oh man, that's some good food. I highly recommend coming here. And they even give you a free photo. But careful, you might get offered another photo with it. So, and that's a really awkward photo of us. So we just got done with it, but if you are looking for this restaurant, which I highly recommend, it's just right behind me, kind of right by the Ferris wheel. And it's super good. The only thing I would say is, it's a little messy. So be prepared to be a little messy while you're eating it. But it, honestly, it's a solid nine out of 10. So we just found this really cool store called I Love Sugar, and it's two stories. So let's go take a look at it. They even got Candy Heroes. Let's see, oh, oh. Candy Heroes, it's actually kind of cool. <laughs> Gummy Man, my favorite. They have martinis. Ooh, they didn't even sell martinis out there with candy in them. That looks really cool, actually. They have a full chandelier made out of like, gummy bears. That's cool looking. So upstairs is just a chocolate and actually a, like a bar, like a candy bar, but with like martinis. So that's what, there's a couple of the drinks right there. Now we pass the superheroes and on to the strip again. So right now we're walking by Caesar's Palace. I was like, I don't know where we're at, but I think this is the shopping area, but man, that's a cool looking statue. So we're just kind of walking back to our hotel so we can get to our car, but might as well check out some of the views while we're walking by. So we're walking by the volcano show. So they apparently only do it at night from seven to 10 every hour, so. We'll try to check out. I don't know if we'll be able to, but if we can, it'll be cool. We saw a little bit yesterday, but one of the shows canceled, so 
We didn't get to see it all. They have this awesome giant Siegfried and Roy statue over here. It's really cool. They have little like signs over there talking about them. I like it a lot. I wonder if it glows at night with all the crystals though. Now that's the true question. Now we're just in the elevator. We're going to go back to the hotel for, I, I guess, our room to get our keys, and then we're on our way to Area 15. So very exciting. Also, this is a fast elevator. You just feel the G's while you go up or down. It's kind of intense. We are here, and look at all that art. I'm so excited. It's going to be real fun. There's just a plane. That's fun. But here's the scariest part is trying to actually, you know, find a parking spot here. Because it looks like a mess. Okay, we are at area 15 and we're so excited. Look, there's already art, so I'll show you guys what we're doing. Ah, oh, yes, I'm so excited. It's gonna be so fun. Lots of pictures. So our first art piece is just like this cool glass. And then there's a giant owl. So we're just gonna kind of walk through everything and see what we can. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> this is really cool looking. And we're just in a shipping crate right now. And then we just go this way. Oh, heavy doors. And whoa, a robot. Is that the Iron Giant? So this giant robot has all this like alien encryption. I wonder what happens when you actually decipher them. He's so big though. It's really cool looking. And also, I didn't show it, but there's a giant owl over there. But yeah, these are all just commissioned by different artists. They got this really cool piece right here, and it reflects so pretty during the day. And then there's like a rusted Las Vegas sign over there. All right, into area 15. Let's go. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> All right, this is quite the entrance to start with. <laughs> Dang. This is fantastic already. So excited. So if your eyes have a hard time adjusting when you first walk in. So there's the Omega Mart in front of the sick hot rod. So we have to wait a little bit until we get into for our this time slot, but I'm so excited to go in there. I don't even know what to expect, like I said, I've seen very few videos on it, and oh, I'm stoked. But right now, I think we got plenty of cool stuff to look at. So I'm guessing this is an axe throwing place that they have? Yeah, there's some axe throwing they have going on in here. Not busy at all. Look at this cool tree. It's all glowing, all sorts of different things. Yeah, that's just the bar over here. And then there's some pills over there. Oh, some more Meow Wolf stuff. So impressed. I love that this is just the elevators. Or I don't know exactly what this is. Oh no, it's a store. We'll head in there. So in the store there's this giant rocket where Bryce right now is controlling the lights in the room. This is kinda cool. Then or like over here, there's all these lights that you can control the rocket with. Sorry, I can't get both of them in the shot, but like yeah, it's pretty dang cool and Bryce is controlling that over there. Or like we have a controller right here. That, that I don't know exactly what it does. Oh, so Bryce found this goes to that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And this shop just has a couple of this like candy sodas. Very fun. Even their mannequins just sitting around here are really cool looking. <laughs> I have a spare mannequin at home, I should paint, paint myself. And then over here is the Meow Wolf shop that we'll go check out. I mean, like this wall just looks like a faux op opportunity. Because like even just like that, you kinda get a cool photo. Like in all honesty. Oh, this is so impressive guys. I'm actually not gonna show you what's in the Meow Wolf store yet because I wanna surprise you guys with home makeup art. So we're gonna wait on that for a second. Also there's just people on zip lines going around. Well it's it's crazy. This whole Oh yeah, here we'll see. Another person should be going around, but yeah, Bryce just pointed out it looks like they're motorized. Interesting. This is so cool. All right, so here we go. Yep. Oh, we, we all got. Oh, there we go. Voodoo. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we are at the Hardwood Bar. Oddwood. Oddwood Bar. So right now, what did you get, Brian? I got a watermelon mule. Watermelon. And then I got the Voodoo Margarita. So this looks good. All right, it's time for the first drink. That's good. Much for a Utah drink. I will say that. Something I think that's really cool about this bar is underneath there's a hook and a charger for you to hang your stuff, charge your phones at. So that's kind of cool. I wish more bars had that, honestly. So we just got done with our drinks. How do you feel about your drink? It was really good. It's super good. My not my all-time favorite is the watermelon meal was so good. I'm really, I wish I got that, honestly. But the food you, I'm not the biggest fan of tequila, so I think that's why, but it turned out well enough. So, right now we're just waiting to go to Omega Bar, but we have just a couple more minutes, so we're excited. So we're finally in the store. Um, they took my camera away, which kind of sucked, but we're interacting with stuff, which is fun. Which, there's a whole bunch of different stuff. You can pet these little avocados. What is this? Goldfish and Yeah. Very interesting. Oh, well, boy, as well, they're rubbery. So, there's some stuff you can actually buy, like you can get one of them actually right there. There you go, there he is. All right, we are heading into the garden. Looks, looks really, really interesting. Oh, here we go. This is fun. Cool. It's like an ice cavern. And then when you walk in here, Wow, it's a lot bigger than it does. It looks on the outside. So, very cool ice cavern. I don't know exactly what it is. We went up a whole bunch of different stairs and we ended up in this crazy looking tunnel, which is really weird looking. <laughs> oh, let's go this way. <laughs> is this the employee break area? <laughs> and now we're in this crazy room. We just went through some staff doors and Man, this is weird. Very weird. Um, oh, yeah, some refreshing middle. Oh well, no, a glitch. I think it's fine. Oh no, what a mess. Some of the weird stuff. Why they have rose beef, beef pills, pork calf. It's so odd. So, what we've learned is either if it has a price tag like this, you can buy it. If it doesn't, have like something kind of similar to this, then you can't buy it. Oh, look, it's the meat section. Two chickens. Oh boy, and they got brains. Oh, oh, it's, it just gets grosser as you go by. Oh, like a little screen. So we finally got our food card. So now we kind of go to the meat section. It's a training of the Omega Moss. fun. So we're just trying to find stations right now. Also, there's cornfields. There's just this like um, clothing rack that we found a secret passage to. Um, what? <laughs> okay, we're just in the store. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, I don't know where we're going. <laughs> oh, we're in the fog room. We got this weird interaction thing where it just makes weird noises and you just can't mess with it. Very fun. So they all kind of reset and then go back to scissors. Really interesting. Alright, we're about to go down the slide. It looks super fun. And we have um, some shoes. Trying to get little shoe booties before you go down the slide. Little shoe booties. So we just went down this super intense little slide. This slide does not look as intimidating as it really is. But man, you get going on that. Oh, oh. You go fast. You go real fast. Grace, what would you rate that? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> and here we just found another, oh, weird. And you just enter back into the real world. That's so odd. Yeah, just looks like normal camera. So we just booped our source and now we're trying to access the security door. I don't know what we're doing exactly. The price is moving along. Oh, I think we're trying to match that up in the middle. Interesting. Oh, we almost got it. 
so close. I don't know exactly what we're doing here. Oh look, it's all the stuff from the other room. It's all come to life back here. The scary tennis balls. And this is where the baby boxes are made. Look how cool. Wow. There they go. And this store is so fascinating. Is this how all stores work? We're doing our final test. So we know what the coin I mean. And then we get to do our test. Oh. We won. Yay. Congratulations. Employee number. Employee number not found. You are the employees of the moment. Yes, we did it. Oh boy. Aww. Oh. The moment has ended. Aww. No. Aww. And now it's back to normal. Go ahead, Bryce. Are we going to the fridge? This is super cool. Oh, now the things are going to be messed up. Oh, whoa, brand new room. I haven't been in yet. So we just head into this room and we found a jackalope. I want that cat that's fresh in there. The power believes in you. Can I get that as a mug? Here, Bryce, hold that. Yeah, no, I want that as a mug. We got the ship, a whole different a couple of other things, keys. I don't even know what type of room we're in, but it's really cool. And you can actually pick up some of the stuff and actually read it and whatnot. Very cool. Ah, so we were opening up the grumpy old man's desk and we found some of the buttons. But of course, in all times, there's true. There's never all times in those. I mean, there's a more page. Really interesting. So much to score. So we did all our employee training. Now we're in the corporate room and we're working real hard. So we finally got a computer because a lot of people are using it right now. So right now they have a cool thing where you can actually save stuff to your like little drive thing or your card. So we've learned a lot so far. It's been a learning experience nonetheless. QR chocolate. Ooh, look at that. A solid. And a liquid bottle. Oh, and this one's the other way. Let's see what's in the main fridge. Anything good? Nah, just a vortex. Nothing good. But I will say, I really want this little boy who holds onto the toilet paper. You got done, no time for it, you're done. Well, potato dot lamb, duck squash. And you could buy all these products, which is the funniest part. So Bryce finally got into one of the stations, and what did you find so far? Like a whole bunch of stuff about Omega Mart. Okay. Interesting, okay. Thank you. I feel like there's so much to a story here that we're not even aware of. So finally you can kind of learn about the story. So the owner of Stream or whatever, Omega Mart, actually disappeared and he gave it to his family because crazy stuff he started getting all this energy and the daughter was born from it and oh and he got stuck into a void there's so much story here that i'm not even aware of but yeah you have these little drawers that you can shut oh and the dad disappeared forever whoa there's all this story that i didn't even think that would be here i thought it was just kind of be a cool exhibit but no there's much more what do you find in here so, oh cool so oh this is like the robot we found over in the corner earlier that you can actually see those are really cool guys i think we found the best file on the computers cats cats we found the cat files this one's name is suki suki oh. <laughs> oh oh look even more cats here hang in there buddy oh my goodness is this what working a corporate office feels like? <laughs> but what? I found in the drawer. Oh, there's so much that connects everywhere. Which this is another blueprint we found earlier. But we found like a whole bunch of different pro like code types of like their creations. But also the hang in there is my favorite one so far. 
So we found, we're trying to figure out how you get into these dream phone dictionaries because we can't figure that out. But also one of my favorite things is you can just open up the drawers and open up and there's plexiglass. That's really cool. So we headed out just because it's getting really crowded in there, but look, they got Miracle Liquid. I've seen it on TV, as seen. Look, there's a couple of the scenes. It's great. Mm, that looks delicious. Look, there's all your... Oh, that doesn't look good. That was very inappropriate. All sorts of different meats. They got salt after dark and kaleidoscope. That she is. Like the kaleidoscope. Ah, uh, everyone's favorite. Delicious. And we're in Datamash, their bar in Omega Mart, and I got the orange, let's see, orange dream, and then he got the apple juice. So that's what's in the, there's the apple juice, and there's the orange dream. So it should be pretty good. So mine tastes like orange juice, and his tastes like apple juice. So pretty good. Mine's more like an orange creamsicle flavor, so I really enjoy it. All right, we are at Omega Mart, and we have our stuff. We bought some merchandise. As you can see, we got some big stuff over there. But right now, we're going to run to the Meow Wolf store and actually pick some stuff up. Because that's... Because look how cool it is. All right, we're going to head out. But it's been quite the experience. It's been super fun. But we'll talk more about, like, um, Omega Mart once we are out of here, just because it's so loud. And just get our thoughts together, so... We are on our way out now. Goodbye, Area 15. So we are back in the hotel room, and I thought I'd show you what we actually got from Omega Mart. So right over here we have our items. So first, Bryce got this cool, whoop, see if I can show it, cool Meow Wolf shirt, which is um, who does Omega Mart. Then we got this giant chip bag. And Moonlight, Moon Ranch, mmm, tasty. So it's just a big pedal actually, so I thought it was really cute. And over here we got Cola. We got an Omega box, Mart box. And then when you open it, a little cat comes out and he steals your money. And then our employee card, just a little fridge magnet. And then our Plenty Fred Valley, Plenty Valley, and it's a little snail. It's super cute, and then you open up, and there's the inside of the snail, tomato snail. Over there, and then in my bag, I have. It even comes with a sticker too, uh, in your shirt. So the front of the shirt just has the little Meow Wolf logo, and then this says Meow Wolf on the back. So that's just my shirt I got. And then, let's see if I can find where I, oh, there it is. I'm not going to bring the whole thing out, but I'll just grab it. And I got this little pepper. He was screaming, but I think it was really fun. And I think it was like $25, and that's how much these, like, little characters were. Some of the stuff was overpriced because there was, like, $15 for an empty box. And then some of the things were fairly cheap. So, like, this was... Five dollars for a fridge magnet. Not that thick, but eh, I didn't feel too bad. Oh, and then finally we also got postcards. So there's like their veggie donuts, the reactor that started melting, um, the slides, and just the giant reactor room, the soda area, which I always thought was really cool, the cola, um, and then the real products you can actually buy in the store. So, I'm really happy with it. Um, really fun. Alright, so we made it to Caesar's Palace. Um, we're in the shopping district right now. I've never been here, so I'm very impressed by the giant statues. That's one thing to say that is very cool. Yes, yeah, so you can kind of see them up around there. There's a whole bunch of giant statues, which I think are sweet, but it kind of sucks a lot of the stores are already closed today. So, like a good, I would say more than 50% of them are already closed at this time. Whoa, I think we're going to even cooler. I'm going to the camera around. And then right here we have Neptune's Fountain, which is gorgeous looking. Oh my goodness. The sky, Neptune, and everything between it looks super pretty. We have a whole store dedicated to COVID-19 essentials. What a time to live in. This will probably not be here the next time I go to Vegas, but I had to document it because 
<laughs> it's just too funny not to. I love the shots just walking into these areas that are just full of sky and a whole bunch of buildings. Yeah, it, it looks like there's a little bit more shops in this area that are open. So we found the Fountain of the Gods, which is gorgeous. Like, every inch of it is fantastic. Here, let's, let's see who we got. Oh, and if you draw any money to it, it gets donated. So that's also nice. But it's super pretty. Also, even the statues at the top are really cool looking. The, one of the funnier things, though, is these pillars that have fallen down have plugs in them. The Greeks were hiding something that we didn't even know about. They had plugs in all their pillars. They just didn't tell us. Ah, uh, yes, Sunny, finally that I can afford it. H&M, and it's closed. <laughs> Dang it. But wow, that's a big, fancy H&M. So right here, we had the Lantis show, but right now, just because of COVID, they are closed, but... The fancy cheesecake factory side behind it looks kind of cool, so th there's something. So right now we're heading out Caesars. We just can't find anything really to eat here that wasn't out of our price range. We're not that rich, or the you know the cheesecake factory had a two and a half hour wait to get to it. So we're gonna head out and see what else we can find. I mean, from the upper levels, they're really cool to see though how big these statues are. We right up against them, but now we gotta head all the way down on the spiral elsewhere. So we end up going to Buddy's restaurant, Buddy B's restaurant. So we were going to go by tab, but they had two and a half hour wait, and by that time they were closed, so that was not an option for us. So now we're here, and honestly, it looks pretty good. I'm pretty excited. So I'll show you guys what we get in a second, but we walked in, they have Dr. Pepper, we're in a good spot right now. So we just got some garlic bread, which looks really good, and some sauce. So we're gonna challenge these because we're starving right now. And here is our chicken parmesan. Um, it's pretty much me and Bryce just split it in half because it's a lot of food, honestly, and I don't think both me and him could eat it by ourselves, so we figured it looked pretty good just to have split in half. So this is the chicken parmesan and me and Bryce just split it in half because they kind of have family style here so this looks a little bit better to have it split in half because a lot of food. So right now I think we're going to hop on into that but I'm really interested what this green stuff around it is because on the camera it looks so much brighter but it's not that bright in real life. So I think this is some of the best chicken parmesan I've ever had in my whole entire life. It's so good, a lot of flavor in it. I think that's what I really like about it. There's a lot of different flavor in it. And it's just so good. And so we got pretty decent too. It's not like the best spaghetti, but it's really good spaghetti. So overall, this is so good. I'm not keeping it, but I just had to let you guys know while the taste was in there. I feel like gratitude right now. All right, our plates are empty. Man, that was some of the best chicken parm I've ever had. So good. So I have no idea what the green stuff was, but it was good. And here is our, I don't remember exactly what it was called, but our dessert. Lisa's Warm Nutella Cake. Okay, so Lisa's Warm Nutella Cake. It looks really good. This is more caramelized and just a really good chocolate cake, so I'm excited to dig in. So we're at like the halfway point. I just want to talk, there's Nutella in the middle of this and it's so good. And then there's like a caramel around the side of this. It's fantastic. Highly recommend it. super good food and just like overall just great service too. I just want to say this is a really cool picture with really loud cars <laughs> coming down the street but you got the all the casinos going on it. I just love all the neon of Las Vegas. It's really cool. Now we're on our back to the hotel because we're tired. Omega Mart took a lot of energy today so I think we're just gonna go chill in the hotel. It's not exactly 10 o'clock yet either, but we're just like, we need to go chill, honestly. So, that's where we're heading. <sighs> Man, what a day it was. I'm finally glad to kind of sit down for a second because I am quite tired right now, to be honest. My legs are aching a little bit. Those quarantine legs because, you know, sitting in a house for, you know, almost 
over a year kind of causes that to happen. Like going to theme parks has helped a little bit, but nonetheless, Omega Mart. Omega Mart was super fun, or in Area 50, 15, Area 15, not Area 51, because that's a whole different situation. But Area 15 and Omega Mart was super fun. I really enjoyed all the coloring and like the just the overall vibe. I feel like there's a lot more story to Omega Mart than I ever thought there was going to be. Um, I heard good the three criticisms out of the way that I just always like to talk about because I feel like stuff deserves to be criticized just a little bit. Um, so, or not even, just if I have opinions, I feel like you guys should be able to know them. So the first thing was, um, I can bring this proper camera into there. I thought that kind of sucked and they're very rash on it. Like, it wasn't kind of like, oh, you have a camera and they charge you a $5 fee for if you have your camera on you. You can't go back to the car and start and drop it off. Oh no, you have to you get charged $5, which whatever it is what it is, but it just kind of sucked that. I didn't even know that was the situation. I read on their website, they're like, yeah, bring your cameras, film and be fine. Just don't bring big professional cameras, but I don't know what exactly they considered, but that's one thing I just want to bring up. Another thing is, the bar was really rough. That was a bar that I wanted to get out of as soon as I was done with my drink and I did not want to be there any longer than I had to because it was kind of a bummer, honestly. The employees did not want to be there. The security did not want to be there. And the drinks were okay. I just feel like it sucked that I spent like $14 on a drink and didn't have a really great time in there, which I don't know. I feel like a bar is a whole experience within itself. Especially at a place like Omega Mart, you expect something. But the bar that was just in Area 15 with the tree, I can't exactly remember what it was called. That was super fun. That was way fun, great service, everything. The drinks were really good there. So that gets two thumbs up for me. The bar in Omega Mart, thumbs down. Which I'm, I'm sad to say, but Omega Mart itself was great. And the final thing is, it seemed like half the employees wanted to be there and half the employees didn't want to be there. I don't know. I get it. It's tiring, but I, I want to have the full experience. So I want all the employees to be there. So either they're really happy to be there or they did not want to be there at all. So that that's my hurry and quick criticism and then we'll get back to everything. So Omega Mart itself was super fun. Um, With inside of it, I didn't even know exactly what to expect. I didn't plan anything out. Um, I didn't even really watch much on it. I saw a couple of TikToks on it, but besides that, I had no idea what I was expecting. I didn't think you could buy all that stuff, and I really like the concept of being able to interact with it being a full story within itself. It's not just like, oh, look at all these cool art pieces. No, it's like, here's this ginormous story that you don't even know what's going on until you have to dig deep to get inside of it. Um, another thing I thought was really cool was the employee tag was... It kind of gave you an objective to do in there so you can kind of explore but also be like oh I need to scan this and get trained and learn how to do this situation. So that's, I don't know, I really appreciate the good story about it. So I'm really interested if that's how their other location is in Santa Fe because that sounds amazing and it's a different type of story too. So overall it's really fun experience, something I never thought I'd experience in my life and I don't think I could ever recreate in my life. So if you're ever out here, go check it out, but just be aware, um, no bags, no cameras, that would be the only thing. Watch out for that, That's that will get ya. Also, the restaurants today were really good, um, and that's all I have to say about it. They're really good and pretty much retired and I'm ready to go to bed, so we'll see where we set everyone wanted next and we have plenty of cool stuff happening tomorrow, so stay tuned.